so I'd like to invite Alex Hill, who's our next speaker. He is the Ontario Green Party candidate in the last provincial election in Ottawa West Nepean. That's the riding represented on the federal level by John Baird, Minister of Foreign Affairs. And he'll give us some perspective on how a campaign is run and on what it means, what it means to our democracy to have these sorts of things ongoing. So, ici Alex Hill, candidat uh, dans les dernières, les dernières élections en Ontario pour Ottawa West Nepean pour le Parti Vert. Can you all hear me? Yeah. Okay, fantastic. Uh, it's unfortunate that we have this whole fence situation going on, but I suppose there's not much we can do about that. Um, I'm standing before you here today because, uh, to be quite honest, I was rather peeved when I opened up the newspaper a week or two ago and uh, first heard of this robocall story. And there are basically three festering sources of malcontent on my part when it comes to this issue. The first one is that it forces me to stand out here in the cold. My hands are literally turning purple and I can't read the speech that I wrote, so I have to speak from the gut. Uh, the second one is that when I ran in the election several months ago, I was not aware that it was common practice in Canadian politics to engage in mass electoral fraud. Had I known this, winning my seat would have been much easier. Um, however, as they say, hindsight in politics is 2020, so we are where we are. I also have the dubious distinction of standing on these steps for the second time in almost as many years. The last time I remember Canadians of all political stripes <laughs> gathered on the steps of Parliament Hill was to protest this government's second prorogation of Parliament in as many years. And to be honest with you, I don't care whether Mr. Pierre Poutine, if that is your name, was under orders from the executive wing of the Conservative Party of Canada. I don't care if Stephen Harper is legally liable for what has transpired in the federal election because the reality, ladies and gentlemen, is that the federal government consistently, year by year, has set the tone in Canadian politics. And this robocall scandal is not the only reason we're here today. We are here today because what we have witnessed over the past few years is the constant, slow, but steady erosion of our most fundamental democratic institutions. From prorogation twice to the government being found in contempt of parliament, to mass arrests and the abuse of civil liberties, to in and out scandals, to fraudulent elections. This government has found itself morally culpable for the erosion of the liberal democratic values that we all find to be so dear. I want to end by paraphrasing something that Rick Mercer said a few weeks ago in his rant. This is not a left-wing thing. This is not a right-wing thing. This is just a thing something that we can all agree on and we need to acknowledge that issues like this force us to unite as a people and as a country to transcend tired and contrived left-right politics and stand up for what we think is right and let me be clear what's at stake here is our democracy we need to keep the press on this issue we need to make sure that our elected officials hear our voices and we need to make sure that we get a measure of justice through a full independent and public inquiry because we're not going to stop fighting until that's what we get thank you